guys welcome back to my channel hello if you're new thank you so so much for being here i am so tired this week but i have a few things that i need to be doing nothing too crazy it's going to be another one of those weeks that i'm not really sure what i'm doing i go i seem to go from these like busy weeks to quiet weeks to busy weeks to quiet weeks and it just kind of keeps going like that i'm not sure why um, I'm hoping it will change. Not that I want to be incredibly busy all of the time because I don't personally have the energy for it. Um, it'd just be nice to kind of know what I'm doing and have like goals in place. I feel like I do, I do have things to be doing but I get a little bit lost or confused and I procrastinate a little bit and leave everything until the last minute. Thank you so much again if you ordered my pre-order. The pre-order is still live and will be live probably for the next week or two. I have just been sat working out how to make origami um, envelopes because I wanted to make the packaging for the pins a tiny bit more fun for those that have pre-ordered. Um, so basically you just kind of, will, this, this will all be patterned paper, this is just me testing it out. You just pop open the top, open the sides, and then you've got your pin. Obviously, that's not the pin, that's just one of the pins I was using for an example. But I just thought it'd be really cute to have just something for people to open rather than just, I could just put it in a sweet bag, but I thought, let's make some patterned paper that goes along with the theme of the pin. So I'm gonna have like little um, leaves on it. Also, I'm so sorry about that bright light, it's terrible. Um, it's blinding, isn't it? Yeah, so that's, what I'd like to do, have some pretty leaves on this paper and just kind of then place it nicely in the box. I just wanted to do something different and I kind of miss doing crafting at the moment. I, obviously I do a lot of my work, in fact all of my work on my iPad and I do digital art, but I'm kind of missing that crafty aspect of things that I used to make. So I used to make like polymer clay earrings, um, like little novelty pieces. I used to make, mm, I don't really miss making the coasters, I'm not gonna lie, they really weren't my favorite thing, but it was that crafty side of things. So I thought if I make some little origami envelopes, that could be a quite fun way to kind of get back into things. And I am actually thinking of doing some clay work again. I have some ideas in mind um, and I'm thinking of making some more miniatures. If you haven't seen my miniatures before, this one's broken, but um, I used to make little like miniature clay ornament kind of things. So that's the, what is that? An elephant. <laughs> and I also made some snakes, which I thought were really, really sweet. Um, these just sit on my desk or on my windowsill at the moment. But I kind of want to get back into the whole clay again. I need to go through the clay that I've got, see if I need to buy any more. Um, and I just want to make some more things along those lines. I'm not going to say exactly what on here because I don't want to ruin it <laughs> um, because I think it would be really sweet um, and I want to actually make sure I am going to do it. I'm doing some research about some things at the moment so yeah as soon as <laughs> as soon as I've decided that I am going to make them I will share them on here of course. But yeah I just miss that crafty side of things and and I, I want to do more of that. Um, yeah. So I came on here literally just to kind of say hello and it turns out I've been talking for ages. Why do I always do this? I put off talking on the vlog for ages because I'm like, oh, I'm so tired, no one's gonna listen. And then I talk for like five minutes. Oh. But yeah, that's the plan for today is maybe print some patterned paper and maybe make some a few envelopes ready for when the pins arrive. But yeah, I've been making envelopes. That's what I've been doing today. Other than that, I don't really know what else I've done this week, and we're already at Wednesday. You okay, OD? <laughs> anyway, um, I'll speak to you guys in a bit.
Okay, so I've printed off a good chunk of this pattern because I absolutely love it. I was going to test print without the spots, but it makes it even more Deli's design. So we're going to leave that. And then I have made a little envelope um, from it. Again, it's not perfect because it is going to have like the backing rubber clasp. So it is going to sit up and not be completely flat. But I was sitting there thinking, do I want to make 35 of these or whatever it is? Um, but I think what I'm going to do, because I've got a little bit of time before the pins arrive, so like a week or two, I'm just going to do a few a day, just kind of fill my time with making a few of these. So here's the pattern kind of laid out flat, um, and then let me show you how the pin kind of fits in here. Okay, so the envelope just kind of pops open like this, and then you just kind of pop the, or slide in, and I'll probably make all of these with a backing card there, just so I know that they all fit. And then this kind of tucks in there and the pin's inside there. So when people want it, they just pop it out and ta-da, oh, ta-da. <laughs> um, yeah, I just think it'll be a really cute addition. Um, I've just got to work out how it's going to sit in the box because I don't want it to just kind of be in the box, boring. So we're going to work that bit out now, but I'm really happy with this and I, I think it's a really nice touch for the design. So I've cut out loads of squares of this pattern ready for when the pins arrive. I was going to pre-make envelopes just like this one, um, but 
as lovely as they are, I don't want to spend all my time folding these if the pin isn't going to fit really nicely in there. Because the pin that I've been using, the backing rubber clasps are centered and I'm not sure how centered they'll be once they're on the backing card. Um, so I'm going to just kind of leave that there, fold it up and see how I feel about it when the pins actually arrive. But I think I'm going to go with this design. So I will put the pin inside and then I will build the envelope around it and then I'm going to seal this part with a sticker. Um, I think that's a better way of doing it. It almost does look neater when you've kind of got them here. I know I'll have to make some stickers but I could do the little yellow polka dots as a big sticker. That could be really cute. Um, yeah, I just don't know. I don't want to spend loads of time making these envelopes if they're not going to work and waste all that paper. I, I think that's going to work the best. I'm just glad that I've got <laughs> all of these printed out now because um, it took me quite a while. I've managed to get two squares out of an A4 sheet, so that's really good. Um, and then as you saw, I just used a scalpel to kind of cut through a few sheets at a time. And it's, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I think it's such a pretty pattern and it's going to complement the pins really well. I just thought I'd update you on kind of where my brain's at with these. We'll see how it goes. Um, I think I'm just going to be patient and wait. <laughs> guys i thought i'd pop you over here just for a slight change of scenery i don't really share this side of my office very often it is painted in my brand colors i did this with tester paint and a roll of masking tape so i think it cost me about 12 pounds in total and i think it's i think it's really good <laughs> i'm also joined with my giant unicorn teddy um you can call me a child but i don't really care because I have a weird obsession with teddies and I don't think I'm ever going to grow out of it. Aaron actually bought me this before we were married from a toy shop and part of me is like, oh, I should get rid of it, but I just can't part with it. Like, it's absolutely ginormous, but I just can't part, part with it. Um, anyway, I'm still absolutely shattered this week. I have been up for a, a few hours and my eyes are very, very tired. I think it's just one of those weeks, really, and I've accepted that it's a week where I'm tired and... I am still proud of myself for how much I've managed to get done, even though in some people's eyes it's probably not much at all. Um, but again, I feel like that's part of small business life. Again, some busy weeks, some quiet weeks. Um, I do have a little bit of anxiety though about my enamel pins. Um, I'm going to be totally honest here. Email my manufacturer and she didn't reply for like a week and then she said they'd had um, a holiday but she'd never informed me about this holiday and obviously the pre-orders have been ordered. They are due to be shipped on the 3rd of November, which I know is just under a month away. I ordered the pins on the 16th of September, um, so it's nearly been a month since I ordered them. And I messaged and said, so I should have them in the next two weeks, like that's about right considering you said it would be a four week turnaround. And she just said, I'll let you know. And I'm just sat here like, but I kind of need to know roughly when they're going to be ready. I've had the metal imprint, like the, the piece, so I know that they're in production. But I'm really worried that I might not get them in time. And I'm really, really anxious about if I don't have the time to ship them according to Etsy. Because Etsy aren't very nice when it comes to you not shipping things on time. So yeah that that's a bit of a worry of mine i don't really know what to do about it there isn't much that i can do about it so i think i'm just gonna have to wait and see what happens if i get as long as they're sent within the next two weeks i think i'll be fine but if it takes longer than that i'm gonna be a little bit in trouble but i suppose as long as i have everything ready to go as soon as those pins arrive I can 
pack them up, send them off. I think I've got about 30 parcels to do, so 35 parcels to do. So it's not going to take me more than a day, I should hope, as long as I've done everything else. Um, so worst comes to worst, if they arrive on the 3rd, I should be able to get them out on time. It's just one of those things, isn't it? I'm not worried that the pins are going to be bad, and I'm not worried that I'm not going to be able to send them out, because I've worked with this company before, although I've just realised my glasses are really reflective. I am so sorry, maybe I'll take them off. We'll take them off, because I didn't realise the reflection was so bad. So that's kind of my worry. I don't really know what's going to happen there, but I suppose I've just got to take it all as it comes. There isn't much I can do. It's completely out of my hands at the moment. Um, yeah, just kind of go with it. But yeah, I think I'm going to call that the end of a studio vlog. Thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. I'd really, really appreciate it. But yeah, I wish you all the loveliest day, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!